What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. You probably know that signing your Yalu Tark or Yalu Jailbreak every 7 days is not the best thing to do and it's pretty painful. But in today's video I'm going to show you how to get rid of that, how to make your device sign it automatically without you even touching the device to sign it and it's going to last forever because actually you're uh, resigning the IPA automatically using a tool so you do not have to do it with CDI Impactor. Also this is going to be without any computer so those of you who do not have the computer or who do not have the CDI Impactor at their hand it's going to be pretty okay. So we're going to use a modified version of CDI Extender. About CDI Extender we've been talking in my previous videos but this one is a changed version is a modified version that actually ha holds a couple of um, features and some of them are of course the auto signing i'm going to show you in a couple of seconds you have it in here but in order to install this one you need to go in here to cydia of course you have to be jailbroken for it to work and uh, you need to add the following repo uh, is julio Vern in here uh, at http double uh, slash julio or julio dot dot com. I'm going to link it in the description down below. Then on the uh, on the repo itself you need to install, you need to search for, at first you need to install AppSync Unified. Do not worry, AppSync Unified has been updated and it works with iOS 10 with no problem. So you can dismiss any uh, news about AppSync breaking the device. That was at the beginning, now it's working properly. And then you need to install Extender. Extender is available in here, it's from um, uh, Julio Verne or Julio Verne, I have no idea how to pronounce that, um, repo and is actually a modified version of Extender. I'm going to show you how it works and how we get it signing. Well, you need to at first go ahead in here to the, um, to the Extender, let me go in here, and it looks like the normal CDI Extender but has these little dots in here with more. You can see it has the original team ID, revoke uh, all certificates now. This button with revoke all certificates now is going to be pretty damn useful when you're getting errors like certificate pending or you already have a certificate pending for that and so on. But first you need to connect your Apple ID. Now uh, something that uh, Julio or Julio did very wrong is the fact that he didn't mask the password. So I had to use a test password. I changed the uh, password of my account to test password so that of course you don't see my password. Password. Well, um, Julio, Julio, if you're watching this video, please put a password mask on that thing. It would at least make it a little bit safer, just in case. So you need to uh, write down in here your Apple ID and your password. You can use a throwaway Apple ID and password if you want to do so. Then if you, if you want auto signing, you can enable this. If you don't, you can disable it. Keep in mind that auto signing is going to take a little bit of your battery. It's going to drain it a little bit because it's using the uh, background um, processes in order to do this. So you should keep that in mind. It's going to make a little bit of, um, of a difference in the battery life, but it is worth. So then you need to go ahead in here. After you put your Apple ID and password, you need to click Add Device. Of course, uh, in this case, my device is already added. And it says here device already uh, in your account, but you need to add it, of course. Click OK. Then you have here the uh, set change team ID. You're going to click I don't know via uh, login Apple. You do not have to log in again because you already put your um, credentials down below. So it says extend life success. Please reopen CDI extender to apply the changes. I'm going to go ahead and close it. Open it again and you should be set. If you go ahead in here, uh, yes, it's not going to be very, very safe, um, but at least it's going to work. Do not hand your device to your friends and so on, because uh, if they open the CD extender, they're going to see your password in here. That's something bad. I really hope uh, Julio or Julio is going to update the tool so that it hides the password. That would make it uh, useless for somebody to take your device and see it. But anyways, in order to continue, if you're giving any errors, you're going to click revoke certificates in here. I'm going to do that just to make sure. Okay, revoked one certificate, and from here it's pretty much simple. You have a downloads folder for AutoSign. Every application that you put in the AutoSign folder is going to get AutoSign every five days in order to prevent it from expiring. And um, if you restart the device, the application is going to work, so you do not have to be jailbroken to open an IPA that was resigned. But in order to, to resign, uh, every five days you need to be jailbroken. Then on the import that you have the IPAs that you saved and signed, you have the uh, signed IPAs in here. Then on the installed is going to show you exactly what CDI uh, extender shows. So let me install an IPA. As you can see, I do not have any sort of Yalu in here. So I'm going to go ahead on here on GitHub and get my Yalu dark. You're going to have a link in the description for both of them. 
for the 102 and yellow dark. I'm going to also try with the uh, original yellow, but at first I'm going to use my yellow dark. Uh, when you open it, it's going to download the, um, the IPA in Safari, and then you need to click open in extender. If you have your account connected already, you're going to see that what is going to disappear because you already had it installed, and then you're going to you're going to see it installing the uh, IPA. I, I'm not touching anything here. I'm going to go here to extender. You can see it says installing Yalu Dark automatically, and then it installed and says seven days left. Going to install in here. It's going to um, give you a couple of uh, options. You can click resign if you really want to. But it's going to resign everything automatically every seven days if you do that. So I'm going to show you how to do it. You can see you have it in here. And on the download side, you can put it on the auto sign. To do so, let me do that. You don't have it in here for the moment, but you can take it on uh, signed, yellow dark IPA, copy to auto sign. And then you go back in here to download. You have it in here, so every seven days, or sorry, every five days, the uh, CD Extender application is going to resign it automatically for you so that you do not have to do it yourself, which is pretty damn good. If you want to stop it from doing that, you will go ahead in here, click delete, and it's going to delete it. But this is not going to delete it from the installed application, so you can still have it in here, but you need to trust. All right, so uh, signing is not actually hard. If you go ahead in here, it says untrusted developer. In order to fix that, you need to go ahead to settings and then you need to go to general and scroll till the uh, device management profiles pop up. You click on your email address, click trust, click trust again. You need an internet connection to do that, by the way, and you're going to be fine. I'm going to open Yalu now and as you can see, it shows GL broken. It works perfectly. I'm going to restart the app so that the uh, certification works. There we go. So as you can see, it is working properly. Again, if you want to, uh, to make sure it can be resigned, you need to go ahead in here on the downloads and make sure you put it in the auto sign folder. By going to signed, click the IPA, copy the auto sign, and you're going to be good to go. Now you can do this to any IPA, being it an emulator, being it, uh, I don't know, a game, a file manager, a, anything you want, any IPA that you can think of can work with this method. And I'm going to show you how I do it with the original um, Yalu. I'm going to go here to yalu.qwertyworia.com, uh, click IPA. It's going to download, you can see the progress bar on the uh, top, the blue progress bar. It's going to download the IPA. Keep in mind, the bigger the IPA, the more time it will take to download, in, in which time you only see that progress bar. And as you can see, YALU 102 Beta 7, open in extender, and it's going to do it automatically. You can see it tries to pop up that uh, user and password, but because you have it in here already, is going to take it automatically and continue doing whatever it tries to do. It installs YALU 102. You are good to go. And here on installed you have them. Now if you go ahead to sign in here, let me try to refresh, you have the YALU 102. You can copy it again to the uh, auto sign or you can open it in any other things. So I'm going to go ahead in here. You can see I have YALU Dark and YALU 102. I just wanted to show you that it works with any um, IPA. It says already jailbroken, so as you can see, this is how it works. It's pretty much uh, very cool, if you ask me. And uh, what you should keep in mind is that CDI Extender, or at least this version created by uh, Julio Verne or Julio Verne, is actually compatible with iOS 10.1.1, iOS 10.0, 10.0.2, 10.2, and so on. But the applications are working if you restart. If I restart now my phone and I'm not going to be jailbroken anymore until I run Yalu, Yalu will still work if it's uh, signed because the application signs it using normal Apple certification. It doesn't trick the device to think the, uh, the IPA is signed. It simply signs it as you would do with CDA Impactor. But you should keep in mind that the extender itself cannot be open if you're not jailbroken. Because I know a lot of people are going to ask me about it, so I decided to mention this as well in the video. If you are uh, not jailbroken, CDI Extender is not going to do its job. But if you are, of course, jailbroken and you happen to restart your phone, of course, Yalu will work and you will, you're going to be able to go back into the... Um, into the jailbroken mode. You should keep in mind that CD Extender also gives you some uh, notifications from time to time about your account or about uh, things like this, so you should keep in mind that. And uh, of course, if you do not want to have auto signing anymore because it drains your battery or because I don't know, you should go ahead in here um, on the enabled, click or press to disable it and prevent Wi Fi disconnect, and you will be good to go.
Now, of course, it's going to be very interesting for you because um, when you disable it, you can go ahead and simply um, remove your your account and password as well because you're no longer needed to have it in here. You can um, actually insert it every time you do the uh, signing manually. But if you want auto signing, you should have it uh, inserted in here. So this is basically how it goes, guys. I really hope you understood how it works and I really hope it's going to, to help you. And until the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated for more videos. I'm Geosnow. Peace out.